Hello guys and welcome to this new camera test where we're going to compare the low light of my GH4 with the Speed Booster and the Sigma with 1.8 aperture. Compared to my Sony A7S with a 24 to 70 f4. As you may know, I recently bought the Panasonic GH4 with the Metabone Speed Booster and the Sigma 18 to 35mm with aperture 1.8. The good thing by combining the Sigma lens and the Metabone Speed Booster is that it gives me the opportunity to shoot with aperture 1.2. So when shooting, it gives me a lot of light. However, the downside with the GH4 is the high noise level when shooting with a high ISO. That's probably why you bought the Sony A7S SKL. That's right Anders, because I used to have the Canon 5D Mark III, but it actually got stolen. What I like about the 5D3 was its full frame sensor and its incredible ISO performance. So when I was going to buy a new camera, I found out that the best successor was the Sony a7S, which also is a full frame camera and it has incredible low light performance. And since I do most run and gun type of videos, I thought that the 24 to 70 f4 with the built in stabilizer was the best option for me. But why Aperture 4? Because the 2.8 version is twice as expensive and does not have an image stabilizer. So for me, it was an easy choice. Okay, and the total price of the setup? About $3,000. Okay, so this is exciting. For almost the same amount of money, we both have a good all-round lens and the opportunity to shoot in low light. But which setup do you perform the best in low light? Will it be the GH4 with the Aperture 1.2 or the Sony a7S with Aperture 4. Let's test it out. So I shot with Aperture 1.2 with my GH4 and Eskil shot with Aperture 4 with his a7S. We both recorded full HD video and with shutter speed at 1 50th of a second and with a flat picture profile. This is shot with the GH4 with ISO 800. And this is with A7S with ISO 5000. When zooming in digitally 400 times on the GH4, you can see a little bit of noise. On the A7S, there's less noise. Keep in mind that all the shots you are about to see is shot outside at night using only street lamps. This is a comparison with the Canon 5D Mark II. This used to be the best low light camera, but obviously not anymore. Here I've used the same aperture as Eskil, aperture 4. To make the right exposure, I needed to push the ISO up to 6400. As you can see, it creates a lot of noise. While A7S is much cleaner with the same ISO. So this shot was made in full HD. But what happens with the noise if I record in 4K instead? Hmm, it's hard to tell. But when zooming in, it actually looks like the 4K video has less noise. That's interesting. So, let's take a look what happens when you use Aperture 1.2 instead of Aperture 4. Ah, then I can shoot with ISO 800 and get a lot cleaner footage. One of the downsides with a small sensor like the Micro Four Third inside the GH4 is not only the noise you get with high ISO, but also the long depth of field. This is shot with a full frame sensor of the A7S and with Aperture 4. 
Even though it's Aperture 4, the full frame sensor creates a short depth of field. And this is shot with a GH4. It looks almost the same, and that's because I'm shooting with Aperture f1.2. So to create short depth of field on the GH4, you will need a fast lens. So now we have tried the different setups outside using only street lamps. Let's test the cameras in a complete dark basement using only a lighter as light source. ISO 3200. Nice. Bra. Ja, det er nesten ikke noe støy i det hele tatt. Bra. Det er litt dårlig. Åh, oh, shit, Anders! Ah. Se, der er det. Så som det, det så som det var noe bak deg. Hæ? Hva da? Det, det var bak deg. Det så, det så som en... Stå der litt, stå der litt. Jeg prøver, jeg skal bare skru opp ISO'en her. Ok, nå er maks ISO 496.000. Ja, men det funker ikke altså. Jeg får ikke gjøre det mer. Ja, men du, Anders, seriøst, kom, kom hit. Mm. Dette her er freaky, altså. Det var noen bak deg. Det var noen bak deg. Ja, hvis du ser der på... Det er ikke så lett å se det. Du tror du... Det kom bak meg. Jo, det var bak deg. Det sto der. Det sto der. Det var det bak meg. Var det bak meg? Ja, det var bak deg. Hvor da? Det var inne i gangen der. Ja, vi kommer sitt derfra. Vi trenger ikke å gjøre tester her nå. Vi tar hele testen oppe. Ok, jeg bare... Jeg tar av kameraet. Det er lettere å se. Tar du satt i for det? Ja. Ok. Hvor... Hvor var vi ute, egentlig? Nei, var det ikke bak oss, egentlig? Bak oss? Bort, skitt! Bort! Nå! 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 Skal vi se rundt? Hva var det på? Ja, men det var det. Det var bak deg. Hva var det for noe? Jeg så det ikke, se ikke dritt! Se på kameraet da! Ok, ok. Hvor var utgangen? Var det ikke bort her borte? Hvor var utgangen? Jeg ser på den, det var der borte. Det er riktig ikke bra. Åh, jeg mistet! Anders, jeg mistet kameraet! Det er ingenting, Eskild. Hvor er kameraet? Hvor ser du ut? Jeg ser ikke. Det var mistet her i sted. Jeg ser ingenting! Jeg ser ikke ting. So we kind of lost a Sony camera in the basement and I don't have that much money left but I bought a new Sony camera which is even better the HDR SR10 the Sony HDR SR10 with full 1080i 15 times optical zoom 40 gigabyte hard drive flip screen surround sound recording and 4 megapixel photo Look how well it performs against the GH4 in no light. Uh, okay, anyways, um, the winner of the low light test, as you can see, is the Sony A7S. But which camera should you choose? Uh, for me example, I do shorts and commercials, so then the GH4 is perfect because I have full control of the lights. It has 4K recording inside the camera and also 96 frames per second. That's really cool. It has a lot of nice features and a good grip. But if you're more run and gun like me and want to achieve great cinematic quality without having to worry about the lights, I think this is the best option. No, serious, this is this camera? Nah, I'm just kidding. The A7S. Oh. <laughs> so, which camera is the best? It's up to you. When you set us to the camera line. That looks good for the surround sound, so that. Yeah, that's surround. Also, there's 15 times optical zoom. Also, there's slow motion function. You can film me 260 FPS. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, damn. Also, there's the inbuilt 30 gigabyte hard disk. Så du trenger ikke mindre plass der, ja. Og så er det egentlig med åtte, du skal ikke. Og det er jo Carl Sainz, så det må være bra. Ja, kult. Så jeg tenker jeg selger mine A7. Og en god kamera, kanskje. 